our uh, remarks by talking a little bit about our relationship uh, with the U.S., making some economic comparisons, and then later talked about some of the opportunities for Canada in our emerging markets. I'm wondering how you think Canada is doing so far at taking advantage of some of these opportunities and what the ne next steps for Canada might be. I think we've been really slow uh, off the mark in emerging markets, particularly in Asia. I think we've, uh, we, uh, we had some momentum going perhaps in the 1990s, but our reputation now is that we come, but we don't come back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, that's a weakness, but it's also an opportunity because it means that we can raise our game and we can, uh, we can make a bigger impact in those emerging markets. You're also the President and the CEO of the Canadian Council of Chief Executives. What's the most important initiative to you that uh, the Canadian Council has going on right now? Well, we have a lot of things going on, uh, both bilaterally on the Canada-US side internally in terms of productivity and, uh, and innovation in Canada and internationally uh, with the launch today of a paper done by uh, Dr. Wendy Dobson of the University of Toronto on uh, China and Asia and a strategy for Canada's engagement there. I think that's going to prove to be a very important multi-year initiative of our council as we try to look at the imperatives for Canadian uh, domestic policy through the lens of the increased importance of Asia in the world economy. Should Canadian businesses be reassured by that investment that's happening right now in the private sector? I think it's a, it's a sign that uh, there's a lot of confidence among Canada's major enterprises in the future of the Canadian economy. As I said in my speech, in, just in our organization alone, which is 150 companies, uh, 50 of them uh, indicated their plans to spend uh, about $110 billion by 2013 on major capital investments in Canada. That is more than twice what the federal and provincial governments spent in stimulus money during the recession. And that's really what you want to see. You want to see the private sector investment. They, uh, it's far more important than having small programs for the public sector to, to spend on, on whatever it is. I think that's uh, uh, what we want from our governments now is to balance their budgets, to make sure we don't get into trouble. Uh, it's a rough world out there and governments all over the world are in trouble because they've spent too much. Canada's in a very uh, desirable position. Let's not, let's not waste that advantage. Right. And the last question I wanted to ask you today, since we are at a leadership forum, uh, in these you know, volatile, uncertain economic times, what's the most important quality for Canadian leaders to have right now? Vision. They've got to have a view of where they want to go, where they want to take their enterprises, and uh, they've got to then focus on achieving it and, uh, and, and make it happen. Uh, you, it's an old saying, but if you don't know where you want to go, you're probably not going to get there. So they need the vision of knowing where it is they want to go.